Today we're going to look at some sales and I'm going to pack them up as we do it. So you'll see how they're packed, what they sold for, and the whole works. And we'll look at them as I do them. Hey, it's done. Today we're going to look at items that we just sold yesterday and we're shipping out today. There's close to $900 total sold yesterday. A few of the items weren't paid for, but the vast majority of them, around $800 or so, was. And we're just going to ship them out, wrap them up, and let's head off and we'll look at them as we ship them. Now we ship right away, so there wouldn't be any hold on anything else like that. Now I get bubble wrap in massive bulk. I've talked about it before. I've just cut up some pieces here. We're going to grab one of the items. So this is a button. We'll look at each one. I'll show you what it's sold for and just shout out a little bit about it as I do them. So here's the first one. So this is a uniform button, as you can see. I'm not really sure what the branch is, but it's from Belgium, the button itself. It sold for $21.38. Uh, I literally have nothing into it. I think it was listed for maybe $39.99 or somewhere in that range. Now these right here, these are actually 12 by 12 eBay boxes that we've cut up into 16 pieces. So you can double duty them. Um, it's free cardboard. I just use this first and then I buy it when I need to. That's about it. And I just wrap it around here. This is far better than a box or anything else like that. These are pretty much bullet -proof. Now, we're not going to put names in the video, so you won't see who they're going to, obviously, because that's privileged information, and we're not supposed to give it out to people, so we'll just stack them up there as we do them. Okay, so now here's an interesting uh, lot. This person's been buying from me several weeks. He buys like four times a week, and he usually buys five or ten cards. Here's five cards right here. Now, here are the five cards that this person bought here. Now, a couple of them he bought together. It charged him. He didn't email me or anything else like that. I did reach out to him today after this purchase um, and just said, hey, just let me know ahead of time. We can figure something out. Now, I don't remember the exact total, but you can add them all up. Those are the sold prices for these items. He buys every single week. They're just early trade cards. Um, nothing really similar in them. It looks like he's just starting out to collect them from what I would gather, different types and things. Sometimes it's the same last name as well. So that could be a, a big deal in why he's buying so many also. I just pretty much make a little pocket for them when I do this. Since this guy's bought several, I usually do a couple pieces of cardboard just to make sure there's not a, a value loss here. Now these dispensers, they stay on the table pretty well. If you're careful, they're not going to slide all over if you're quick and the whole works on them. So we'll just slap it in the appropriate bag, make sure we've got the right bag. And off we go. Now I wrote the names on here today to make it easier. Usually I write them as we do them just to make it uh, where I'm not going to lose anything. So this is actually a little paper label for La Belle Chocolatier. Um, Walter Baker and Company, I guess, is the main uh, company name. It's about the size of a poster stamp, to be honest with you. You see it sold for $20.70. The buyer did pay almost $20 to ship this overseas. I guess it's some kind of rare label that this person has been asking for. They asked me if I had more items from this business company as well. Slap it right on in here. Of course, I had to pull all of these out, so it took 20 some odd minutes to pull about $800 worth of merchandise out. So we've got a postcard here. So here's just a cheapo postcard. It was bought in a big, huge lot. I have maybe a penny into it when we bought it. It did sell for 10 bucks, so no big deal. We sell postcards every single day of the week on multiple platforms. So these are always easy, easy, easy money 
all the way around. So let's just whiz this one up here. Okay, now here's a large Emmons uh, pin. This has uh, been in inventory a little while. I have nothing into it at this point. Big, huge purchase. Uh, let's take a look at it. Now, this came with a big bag of junk jewelry. There's an annual jewelry sale. That's actually probably two or three times a year they have more. Everything's, you know, either bulk sold or $2 for the better stuff each. So this is one of those. This person bought for me probably eight or nine, ten different pieces of all vintage jewelry. So I have nothing into it. I made about seven or eight bucks at the end of the day. Sold for ten. Now, what's good about these kind of things, it's real easy to ship, it's real easy to store, it's real easy to find when you uh, sell it. So shipping, it's really pretty uh, quick, simple. Now, this one is J20. This is a religious pin. We'll look at this one. This one's been in inventory for a little while. It's sold for 20 now, this one came in one of those bags of just junk pins you see for a dollar or two. A lot of these religious ones are just passed up because most people don't hold a value. They didn't look at it very clearly with the date or what it says, faith and humanity. It's a very nice enamel ring or uh, pin, I should say. Very fine quality. 20 bucks is what I got out of it. I have nothing into it. We bought a ton of pins, as I said, and I've already sold quite a few of them already. So now let's just wrap it up again. Bubble wrap, this is bought in bulk or it's freebie. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to get a whole mess of it for free. Let's just wrap this one up. And everything goes in this cardboard here. I don't really care if it's overkill on wrapping. I've never had one damaged of any kind that's been sent in one of these. I've had boxes that were opened. I've had boxes that were dented, damaged, pushed in, but I've never ever had the item inside damaged, and I've never ever had one of these damaged at all. Anything going in the cardboard, buttons, jewelry, um, coins, stamp, I mean everything goes in this cardboard. There's a trade card, we'll have a look at it. It's got a lovely picture of grapes on it. Now this one's from Cortland, New York, and I think that's part of it. I had somebody come back, I don't know, quite a little while ago and buy like 97 cards, everything I had from Cortland that they didn't have. So, again, it's something that will sell. At the end of the day, I took home $8.50 less eBay fees, which I'm fine with. It's been up for a little while. It was bought with hundreds and hundreds of other ones, so I have nothing into it. It's just basically free money at this point. Make sure it's down there so when you fold this, it doesn't bend it. Now the cut up too, I have one of the kids or somebody do it. Sometimes I do it too. I just cut up like four or five boxes at a time and you've got what, like uh, 64 items you can ship out. I have to do it every day or two and you know, no big deal. Sometimes I have to cut up boxes every single day. Uh, just again, depending on how much we got going out in the day. So here is a really interesting button. This is from Ecuador, Republic of Ecuador. Now here's a real nice French-made Republic of Ecuador army coat uniform button. It's authentic. It's original. It's from the 1870s or 80s. I want to say I had it up for $54.50. Sold for $30. I bought a ton of buttons. Literally, we've made thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars profit from these. So this is all just profit, less eBay fees. Now, these are wrapped up in postcard sleeves. That's all this is, is a postcard sleeve. I roll it up in there, tape it. That way, with this, all they got to do is cut the end off. So if it's a coin, jewelry, whatever, it'll slide right out. No hassle, no anything else like that. We'll just pop this on there. Grab another one of these. And then we'll grab the bag. I'm using eBay poly bags too. Um, I buy them too. Six by nines is what I buy. eBay's poly bags are like uh, 5.5 or 5.8 or something by 
geez, eight point something. So they're not quite six by nines, but that'll work. It's fine. I got like 60 of these cards here at one time. Really dirt cheap, just a few bucks. I listed them individually just because there was so much more value doing it that way. I'd get two two bucks a card. On average, I got six bucks out of these each, five ninety nine. But I've sold them as high as ten or twelve bucks each. So we made hundreds of dollars off this cheapo buy. Now, like all of the sales of these cards, it was a multi-item sale to the same person. This person bought fourteen items. They totaled eighty three dollars and eighty six cents. That's five ninety nine each card times 14 excellent sale i mean i made money probably the first day i listed them because we sold a couple of cards now i think i only have one single card out of 60 or 70s left at this point so this is all pretty much just profit less ebay fees so wrapping it up same thing cardboard piece here i leave a little gap so that there's a little pocket for them and then just twist it up and this is literally you can add the money up as we're doing this there's about eight hundred dollars, seven eight hundred dollars here. Sold around nine, just over nine yesterday. This is again just from one account. So let's pop it in there too. Now here's another nice uniform button, Clemson Agricultural College out of South Carolina, twenty five bucks. I have like twenty different ones of this one. They all sell extremely well. Again, just like all the other buttons, I have nothing into it at this point. Grab another one of these. It doesn't take into account any of the other items that uh, we're selling. Let's just whiz this one up here. Stick it in its little bag. Now this one's pretty neat. I had this up for quite some time. I was going to wait. I had some really low ball offers for like, I don't know, almost a year. And finally we sold it in a decent amount. Um, again, I don't know what this would go for. There's no other example of this anywhere. Now this was the only one of these I ever seen. I've never seen anything else from the line, from the, the ticket style or anything else like that. A very fancy ticket from 1882, engraved just for them. I threw a price up there, four or five hundred dollars. I turned down a whole bunch of fifty, seventy-five, eighty dollar offers. I waited a little longer and I got a hundred and fifty out of it. This came with a whole bunch of postcards. I've got nothing into it. So for with this, I'm gonna use two pieces of cardboard. I'm never gonna take a chance with something like this with just one piece so we'll just pop it in there make sure you're leaving enough gaps so you're not bending the card itself if you do it this way now i use a knife to cut up these everybody here does it's far safer than using a exacto blade or you know a box cutter or something And we'll stick it in an envelope. Don't miss anything there. Now here's another good one here. Good sale. This is four items. You'll look at it. It's like $100 or so just for these four here. Now here's the four buttons that sold. Now interesting enough, I can't show these or these don't show up on my phone app for eBay as um, sold items. Now this was bought by someone from England and they had it sent to a, an address here. I guess there's a glitch where they don't show up. You can see they were shipped. It was all from the same day, and that's literally what we're shipping right here. It's four early buttons. I just threw a price on them. He sent me an offer on four of them. I accepted them, and off we go. I have nothing into them. So let's grab another one of these, fold it a little bit. I've never, ever had anything crush damage doing it this way. Grab another piece of cardboard. And then we'll grab the bag for it. Now, at the end of the day, all I got to do is stick some labels on them. I print my labels in bulk. I got everything I need written on the face of them so I can instantly tell what's what. This is uh, St. Louis Fire Department. 
So this is what's called a staff officer's button. It would have been worn by an officer in the fire department of St. Louis. It did sell for twelve fifty. Again, I have nothing into it. This was bought with a whole bunch of police and fire department items. I got hundreds of buttons in that purchase for pennies a piece. Great sale. Now, real time wise, this is only a couple of minutes straight through if I was doing it without recording or setting it up. Okay, now that's those items there. This is from the Golden Horde. It's a 19, I think 53 movie. I had six of these up. I bought a stack of stills for like five bucks, no exaggeration. And there's about 25 of them in here. This right here, you'll see what they sold for. Now, we made over 100 bucks on this five or so dollar purchase. So I think I may have two uh, two actual individual stills left. They're all the same SEPA black and white tone, all from the 50s. They were all purchased in that little lot. Those sorts of things are extremely good sellers. They just take a little while to sell. Usually exactly what happened here happens all the time where someone will buy a bunch of them, all of them from the same movie if that's what I have up. So excellent sale. All of this less eBay fees at this point is all profit because we sold one the same day we listed it and it sold for like 40 or so bucks on its own. Now for this one here, obviously the small items, I'm using this little piece. I get four of these out of one of these and there's four of these per each box so we're going to use this to wrap this now there's some pre-creased marks right here so you can fold the box without having to do anything i use that as the point where i'm going to fold it over so i'm just folding it over i take the knife and just make a little mark leave some space and what I'll also do is then I'll stick one of these right here and that'll be used as a mark to help fold it now not exactly straight so let's see if we can't straighten this puppy up a little bit here that's better yeah sometimes uh, my straightness on these isn't perfect but and then I do it at an angle And then we're just going to zip it up. Now I use a lot of tape, I don't care. As long as I know it's gonna get there safe, that's my biggest concern. Now here is my 14th last Shadow Puppets store promo poster. 2070 uh, is what it sold for. 20 to 34 bucks is what I've sold each one of these for. We've sold hundreds of posters. By far, these small little posters have made us hundreds, hundreds, probably thousands and thousands of dollars. One of my better purchases in the last year or so. Now I also have a poster to go here and I usually just use some scrap junk uh, paper these are from my labels. I buy laser print labels. Uh, I know I've got a Rolo and all, but I hate changing the default printer constantly because it's in a network and I've got to do a bunch of stuff. So I ship all these 11 by 17, 18, 11, 12 bys in one of eBay's boxes here. And this is a 10 by eight by six. I just whip this up here. It's a little easier to do this when you're not videoing. And the poster fits in there just like that.
And that's about it for wrapping this lot. I'll move on once I put the labels on to the next one. Now, I never pack multiple stores all at the same time. I always do one store before I move on to the next one. That way, there's no way to get anything mixed up. Well, there we have it. Hopefully, that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.